Watch what happens. Watch this. Okay, let's get things going here. I want to show you this thing here. Remember this guy on television? Steve Owens. He is moving. Fooling around with crocodiles and everything. Television show. Well, I've got a little... I can add to this dilemma. Remember, you probably, maybe, do you know what happened to this guy? He died. We're about to enter the world of the dragon. A handful of tiny volcanic islands where you'll find a rare, mysterious, this thin, man and magnificent reptile. Fool with the everything. largest and certainly All the most wild animal. lizard on Earth. The legendary Komodo dragon. G'day. And he was fearless. I'm Steve Irwin. And I'm taking Steve you Irwin. into the heart of dragon territory. And every once in a while on TV, I'd see this show and I'd watch it for a little bit. Do you remember what happened to him? He didn't make it. Very long. Unfortunately. And I had an incident with uh, Our next guest has an incredible the animal moving story, and it's never been told before. He was the sole witness to one of the most tragic that got events Steve. I had an incident with the day that we lost that I can refer an Australian to too. icon. It was the shock news that made world headlines. We begin in Australia, where local reports are saying their famed crocodile hunter Steve Irwin has died. Steve Irwin, who braved the jaws of crocodiles, killed by the freak flick of a stingray's tail. That's that what I had an incident with, it, into with the a stingray. Many, including Steve's now, most Steve had companion. Him. And where would I be without me best mate and me right hand man, Justin? It was the only person under Mine was only one day and eight years on quarter the size of Steve's. For the first time. We went fishing in Delaware Justin, Bay. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Adam. Steve called you his right hand man. So you clearly had a very special relationship. We did, yeah. Fifteen years of travelling and working and being in dangerous situations and hotels and aeroplanes and airports, yeah. We, we were very close. And, and Justin, I had a I think friend all too. Of us remember. Uh, where we were when we heard the news. Jorge Lopez. Died. Yep. A lot of what laughs, a lot of fun. What is of that day? Um, I remember it really very clearly. A um, bit of background, we've been working on a documentary called Ocean's Deadliest, so we're basically looking at the deadliest creatures in the ocean. And George uh, and, and I sea snakes and blurring went octopus fishing and box jellyfish Delaware and Bay. All the things week that fish. normally make people cringe. This is fishing what Steve loved. Fish. So he's very excited by it. We're about eight days in. It, We'd, uh, I had been filming with crocodiles, I got them in sea snakes, Del Delaware Bay. Sea I snakes, slaughtered them. We were looking for tiger sharks Delaware Bay. on this particular day. Caught them with, so light, uh, with lights at weather. night and everything Steve else. Steve was like a caged tiger. Couple hundred fish, particularly on a boat. And so Wait he said, fish. "Let's go Couple and do Couple hundred. So we jumped in the inflatable. For the and night, off we but went for the during the day. And Four and poles so then what out. did you do? You were standing, the two of you were in quite shallow water, them dead. weren't you, when you were um, filming? We'd, we'd only be motoring race. for a few minutes. This particular and, uh, we day. Found a, a massive stingray. Fantastic. We're actually looking was for poor, something to shoot poor for the George. project. And um, we'd swum with stingrays many times. He's before. sleeping. They're, they're not usually aggressive. Not got a at all. This one was a towel wrapped around his head like King Farouk and he's sleeping. Um, so it was very impressive. I said, George. So we're only in chest deep water. We slipped over the side of Finally, the I started catching a couple. Get we up. We're not here to sleep. We, we, we got to get on. We were filming underwater. And George got into it. We just started one. shooting. We'd been shooting it for a few and minutes. Um, Stingrays brought in his, are normally very I didn't know what it was. It went around the boat twice. Around them, swim away. A They're good size. Swimming. It was a good size. A couple of minutes. We'd been and just because he had caught it, it's the only here. thing he had caught. We tried to put the animal between I brought it on board. So the was in the Managed to bring it into the boat. And, um, not we stood up that and said, big, uh, but not shot. small you either. Swim up from behind the animal. Probably and, uh, the an quarter or a third the size of what got Steve. So, that's, what so that's Steve swimming up and you're getting the shot. And what happened? And it's got a well, tail. Well, I had the camera on. I thought this is going to be a great shot. It's going to be in the dock. And not any end of the tail, but a and all of a sudden partially way up, up, halfway up the tail. And started stabbing wildly with its tail. This barb come out and got me in the leg. They're, in the um, 
ankle. They're incredibly powerful animals, and they've been on they the had a sock on. 60 million years. They've been no. So I was totally you had to cut the barb out. That's what I was. Oh, I don't. It probably thought that Steve's shadow was a tiger shark. And okay, I'm, 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 I'm good. And so it started to attack him. And then I, I didn't start. The cameras, I started worrying a little. Away. I didn't even know bad or what. I, it wasn't until I, I panned the camera it's back. Got venom. That Steve was standing in a huge pool of blood. Poison. But, uh, I realized something had gone wrong. Um, I says George what can't drive this boat. There wasn't a boat well, it's, it's near us. Crazy what goes through your head. We better go in. The first Let's thing I get in. Was, we've got to get out of the water. So because I drive the boat sharks. in and I get in. We well, go to our able place. To swim at that point, with, or, or did you have to help? Him? I had a place. It, was, it was seconds, but it felt like forever because time really did slow and down. Shower, for me hot water, made um, me feel a little again, better. My to leg what I read hurts. The papers and everything I heard at the time, My which leg was just is incorrect. Um, the stingray barb was a blade about a foot extending out of the middle part of its tail. So it's not at the tip of the mm -hmm. tail. It's it's about in the middle. It's a bit like a fingernail, and the other half is embedded in the tail of the stingray. It didn't come out. Steve didn't pull it out. It's a jagged, sharp barb, and it went through his chest like a hot knife through butter. Mm. He thought it had punctured his lung, and he stood up out of the water and screamed, it's punctured me lung. Mm. Within a few seconds, the, uh, the inflatable that had been motoring about 30 metres away was there. So we threw him into the boat and um, assessed the situation for about five seconds. He had a two foot, uh, about a two inch wide injury over his heart with blood and fluid coming out of it. And we thought we've got to get him back Stabbed to the, him in the boat heart. as fast as we can. Was um, he talk sorry, Jack, was he talking to you then? Ooh, a wild animal. He was in extraordinary pain. They they've got a, a venom on their barb and so it was I'm sure it was the excruciatingly yes. painful. Uh, um, I know the kid he had knows an about the venom. Threshold for pain, so I knew that when he was when he was in pain that it must have been painful. I don't he obviously didn't and know we that. We drove it home his heart, all the way from Delaware Bay up to home. Trouble breathing. But it I mean, warranted been able to calling a doctor. To an we're room. either going to the hospital or what? Emergency room? I call, we called it. My daughter called a so doctor. As we're motoring back, I'm screaming the doctor, one of the they know everything. The to put their hand over the wound. Put, it, put his foot in cold and water. I'm, um, we're saying to him things like... I got my foot in cold water. It's not helping. And I'm in pain. I'm in bad pain. I'm dying. And that was the last thing he said. And I could put up with a little pain. What, what a, a thing! I said, to hear to "Get me hot water, face. hot water." What was going through your mind when he was looking up? Yeah, because at you it when that. I was in the shower, it felt better. I'm not sure, to be honest. I, I don't think I realised how serious it was. I didn't know that it pierced his heart. I thought maybe and it's my just pierced pain his subsided lung eventually. Of saving him. And that's my story. He probably my, lapsed into unconsciousness in Delaware and Bay. Open somewhere in those thirty seconds, getting him back to my prop friend one, the, Jorge the Lopez. And we literally put him on the duckboard and I started CPR on him straight away. But there was no hope, was there? There's always hope. Mm. I mean, we, we hoped for a miracle. So we, you know, I literally did CPR on him for over an hour before we got him to Low Isles where the helicopter arrived and the medics came. Um, but then they pronounced him dead within 10 seconds of looking at him. Did he say anything else to you? No, that was it. That were his final words. Mm. And... I mean, you would have well, been I in got the past stabbed in a lot in the of ankle. sort of dangerous situations with Steve. Did it surprise you that it was something By like one, a stingray? That this, let's that call it one-third one this size. I mean, it was probably always going to be something weird with Steve. I don't know what he, what he weird with Steve. I know I mean, what I see. A crocodile or a shark. Or, he was so good with animals, nothing was going to get Went him. around the boat you know, a couple of times it be before we brought it in. It was a good size. But it would always be a crazy, silly accident, and as it turns out, that's exactly what it was. Mm. Justin, we're going to talk more with you after the break. Thank you so much already for sharing some of this remarkable experience. We will be back soon, and we're going to find out how Justin got okay, back to his feet it. after losing his very good friend, Steve Hope you enjoyed this enlightening. Take care.